Hey guys, I'm Ned, CEO of Steemit. Last week I came to you and asked for questions regarding smart media tokens and how they're going to play into the whole Steam ecosystem and with all the apps that are building on Steam like ChainBB and Busy and Steemit.com and eSteam, the mobile app and all that stuff. So there were some great questions, but there were two recurring themes that I want to address most. The first was what's going on with Steemit.com development and how do SMTs impact it? And the second is what's the deal with ICOs through smart media tokens and is that something we need to be concerned about for Steam, the ecosystem? So with regards to Steemit.com, there's a ton going on inside the organization that's developing that. The organization is Steemit Inc. We have a much larger team than we've ever had. There's more than 30 people on the team now, including 20 or 23 developers, uh, majority of whom are working on back-end and front-end development, Steemit.com related tools. And then also uh, we have eight developers now working on the blockchain Steam, uh, contributing code there that hopefully the witnesses will adopt, including the smart media token code, which hopefully they'll adopt early in 2018. So as far as Steemit.com development, it's moving full steam ahead. Uh, I'm very excited about what we're doing there. There's lots coming. All I can say is stay tuned. I love this product and there's lots more we can do there. As far as the second question that came up uh, in a recurring manner, which is what's the deal with ICOs through smart media tokens? How's that going to impact us, the Steemians? How's it going to impact Steam? There are certainly regulatory concerns for anyone who's doing an ICO, no matter what platform they're, they're, they're going to use, whether it's Ethereum or Counterparty or smart media tokens on Steam. So I advise anyone who's thinking about that, consult your lawyers talk to them, find out what the deal is. You don't want to be out there creating securities if you're trying to create currencies for your business. If you want to create a sub-currency for your business, make sure you do it in a way where you're not also creating a security. And there are ways to do that. So, so make sure you go through the proper methods and processes to do that. Get the supporting evidence from your lawyers. I'm not a lawyer, but I'm telling you, you should get one. So that's the thing there. And then as far as like anyone being concerned about us writing software for Steam that enables ICOs, there's nothing illegal about writing software. We're writing software to improve the protocol in many ways, not just through the ICO smart contract. But on, honestly, the, the burden of, of the issue here really falls on the people who are potentially doing ICOs. So, so that's really where the burden falls. And uh, like I said, I recommend that people you know, take the proper counsel there. But ultimately the whole protocol, all the software development, I believe is going to be huge, very big for Steemit, very big for Steam, very big for all the other apps that are gonna build on this platform. And I'm very excited about the potential here. Thank you guys for your questions. I'll hope to get to more of them very soon. Hey guys, Ned here. We just put up another video. It was sort of a direct response to some of the questions we had gotten in the last video and all the threads there. And I just want to take this opportunity to ask you what you think of this process. If you like this sort of medium, this back and forth of questions, if there's any way we can do it better, let us know below. And if you have any more questions, leave those below too. Thanks.